All right, this is part four. It's gonna be the wings and the finished product. As you can see, I have the outline of the wings framed. I left the actual footage of that out of this video to save a little time. Okay, so now I'm working on the scrolls. I thought I might include several clips. Uh, it's pretty redundant. A lot of them look the same. It just looks like a guy making a scroll. So I figured I would just put a couple in there. Not necessarily in order, but I thought it'd be interesting. So the dragonfly has four wings, two top and two bottom. The two on the top are symmetrical and likewise the bottom. So I just, I make a copy. I'll make what I think fits the, with the first one and then I'll just try to make a copy of it. And that's what you see me doing here. So you might have noticed I took the, uh, the pattern out, it was kind of conflicting with the actual build on the table there, all the lines, it was a little too busy. So I took some acetone and wiped those off, just to you know soften that up a little bit. I also changed up the pattern on the bottom wing. The top one I pretty much stuck to it, but the, bo the bottom one I thought it should have looked a little different. Alright, so we're about to get the first look at the finished wings. And uh, I think they turned out pretty good. Let me know what you think. So here I am tacking the wings on more vertical and then once I weld them in place, I'm going to bend them down. 
I tacked them, tacked them on in this vertical position because it was going to allow me to weld the underside of the wings a lot more easily than if I had pre-bent them. Whenever you make something like this, make sure you take a step back and look at it from a distance. Uh, I saw something I didn't quite like, so I broke that wing off and repositioned it just subtly, and that's what it needed. I went ahead and welded the wings up off camera. Alright, so now I'm using a little trick with my TIG torch. Because I don't have an acetylene torch at the house at the moment, I don't have the cylinders. Uh, I'm just using the arc to heat up the wing, and I'm putting slight pressure on it with my hands, you see it moving. Um, that's what I'm going to do here to get these wings bent into position. It works pretty nice. All right, it's time to color this thing with some heat. Painting with fire. Now, basically, I'm just darkening it up, heat it up to, uh, you know, between 500 and 800 degrees. It'll start to change to different colors. You got gold and blue and purple. Sometimes are the colors you'll get. Now, I noticed when I got to the actual body section of this, um, whatever material that catalytic converter was made of, it, it doesn't seem to take the color quite as well as the tail did. So I darkened it up a little bit, but the pattern didn't come out quite like I had imagined. But if I never said anything, you'd probably think that's what I was going for. But I'll go ahead and let you know. So I had an idea with the eyes. I'm gonna, I want to turn blue eventually. So I, I decided to go with a copper wash and uh, change that color to that copper color. You kind of see it appearing right before your eyes there. It's definitely a fun trick. Um, then I'm gonna paint them. After I paint them, I'll take some acetone and I'll wipe off the majority of that paint, just so the uh, blue kind of shows up between the little holes and little nooks and crannies and it'll actually reveal a little bit of that copper color again. I think it'll give it a neat look. So I'm working my way up to the body and you'll notice the reaction doesn't occur when you get to that top part of the body. I guess the thorax, I think it would be called technically. Whatever material that was made of, it's not like the regular steel that the rest was. It didn't seem to hold the, uh, it didn't stick to it. The copper didn't stick to it at all. So that's when, at that point it was like all bets are off. Now I'm going to color every shiny piece of metal with the copper wash.
And finally, the last thing I did is I covered it all with a clear coat, and that should do the job. Uh, I did not complete the base yet. That's going to be probably a future video. But so far, I think it turned out pretty nice. Let me know what you think down below.